the bilateral staggered upper body stretch. Quite a long name, but essentially we're going to be stretching up against the wall. So we're utilising the wall as a way of stretching out the chest, as well as the upper back, the shoulders, and even getting the core involved. So this is a great all-round worker. Essentially, we're using it here to stretch out the chest. It's a convenient way to use an object, such as a wall, and then open up that chest on both sides, all in one go. Plus, you can find that angle that just hits the spot and where you need to stretch it. So, what we're going to do, hence the name of staggered, is take a staggered stance. So what I'm going to do is place one foot close to the wall, maybe like a foot distance away, a foot and a half, maybe two, it depends on yourself. And then what we're going to do, we're going to place our hands on the wall. Now, how high you place them is entirely up to you. I would tend to say around just above eye level, just above the eye level, is a good level to come. So we're going to be around here. Now we're going to engage them, uh, the core because we don't want that lower back to go into a big curve. We want to keep it in a nice neutral spine position. Don't want to get too fancy again with the words, just keeping that spine in a nice straight line essentially. And we also don't want the head to duck down. Now you'll see what I mean when we go into the exercise, into the stretch. So what we're going to do, we're going to place our hands like so. So we're nice deep breath first off and then what we're going to do is allow our head and our shoulders just to fall through and our chest to fall through as if it's coming down towards the floor. So the stretch is on now, now I can start to feel it. From here I'm holding this position. And I'm just going to hold it until I feel it ease off. Nice deep breath in. And then again, so I'm going to hold this position. Deep breath, see if we can go a little further. I'm just going to hold this position for a set amount of time. Remember to keep that lower back in check, make sure it's all there. Feel like the shoulders, the shoulder blades are coming together. It's a great position. There's a lot going on there. I don't want to overcomplicate it. Once you do it, you'll feel it. Great stretch. Feel that maybe you need to bring your hands slightly wider, slightly more in. It depends on your personal stance and then you're going to feel great chest stretch as well as everywhere else across the body.